Center in the Square in downtown Roanoke is celebrating its 40th anniversary this year. And tonight is the nonprofit's annual gala. And right in the middle of it all is our own John Carlin, who's been very involved with the center over the years. So, John, you're in scene tonight. How's it going? Rachel, it's going great here. I'll tell you what, Center in the Square is really having a huge gala. They're expecting around 300 people tonight. Started at 5 o'clock and already people are trickling in. They've got a beautiful tent set up on the plaza right outside Center in the Square. I got to tell you that they've had this anniversary gala. They've had a gala every year for all 40 years, but it's the first time it's ever been here. And joining me now is Jim Sears, who is the architect for all the success that Center in the Square has had. He's the, uh, he used to be the CEO, I don't want to say CEO, president and general, general manager. manager for years and years and years. And Jim, how did Center in the Square transform Roanoke? Well, what's up? If you go back to the middle of the 70s, downtown was uh, just a bunch of small shops, some shop, shops that people didn't want to uh, go to. Right. And uh, a lot of so, crime, a lot of crime, a lot of, crime, down here a lot of uh, bookstores that some of the people did not like. Uh huh. And uh, so the idea was that we'd do something down here to change the face of the market square, help the businesses that were already down here, yep. and hopefully uh, secure new businesses. So that's what happened. And you know, I, th I thought about this a lot. What really, what really works in a situation like this is getting the police presence. Make it, make it uh, safe. Right. People will go to a safe right. place. They but won't then go they to come down here. This is like the anchor of downtown. It is, it is From downtown. this came the rest of people thinking like a mall, right. from this came all these shops and restaurants and everything else that we have downtown, and now we've got this beautiful arts and cultural center in the middle of the city. True, and uh, that's been proven that if you put an art center in the middle of a city, it'll transform the city. Right. There are studies on that to show that, and that's what happened here. But I don't want to ignore the fact that we had businesses here before. These are people who work very hard. The farmers and the small business owners, they work very hard to keep their place make open. make it happen. Yep. And so, yes, we helped that, but they also helped us. Okay, Jim, thank you very much. Okay. Congratulations on, on 40 great years. <laughs> okay. Thank you. So we call us Roanoke a metro mountain mix uh, because you've got the metro part and you've got beautiful mountains and scenery and, and the metro starts right here at center of the square big celebration tonight